Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with more Madoka Magica. I will be watching episodes 9 and 10 today. What a fantastic show this is, man. At first I really, really had no clue that we were going to deal with such a heavy themes, man. It's honestly so insane. Like if you play a first episode to somebody and they see these cute girls, right? It's so wholesome and all of that. Who would have thought that we would have like these insane twists and the, the characters dying, right? After Mami, now we had Sayaka becoming a witch, literally. And I'm still kind of hopeful that maybe we can somehow get her back. But the more, the more I think about it, man, the more I think that Sayaka is gone for good. And it's crazy because honestly, until this point, it kind of low-key feels like Sayaka was the protagonist, man. Because we were focusing on her character development quite heavy, man. And development in kind of like different way than it usually is, right? And that's something also that you don't see quite often. But as one of my Patreons... Uh, said that it reminded me how it reminded him how uh, Ghetto's character was in Jujutsu Kaisen, young Ghetto, right? And that life, like, uh, how to put it, mindset, right? Getting torn apart uh, and wondering if you are actually doing a good thing, right? Or you are just like being selfish and doing it for your own benefit man and uh, are you exactly doing a good thing right and the self-hatred was insane for sayaka's character man she's she's such a she was such a stubborn character but it was still so fucking sad because she was a very nice person man everything she did was like completely selfless right and yet she thought so little about herself, man. And when Hitomi confessed uh, that she has feelings for Kamijo, right? Like Sayaka already was like, GG, it's over. Like, I can't talk to Kamijo about my feelings, right? He will end up with Hitomi. She already came to terms with that. Like, all these things kept stacking together, man, and making Sayaka sink into the darkness more and more. And that rain ride listening to those guys talking in black and white really showcased her her mood and her mind where her mind was at that moment and i guess after she killed that guy or or both of them the soul gem started getting more infested and at that point it's probably like already pretty much over and when she was talking to kyoko at the end she showed her the soul gem and it started happening. There was like a charging or of some sorts for the explosion, right? And then we see Blast blowing Kyoko away. And Sayaka will become witch, which, which also makes you wonder the witches that we encounter and that we will encounter potentially. How many of those actually magical girls that's something crazy that we need to think about as well and i've i've been told about the play on words mahu shoujo right and magical uh, magical girls and uh, majo is witch right shoujo is girls or mahu shoujo magical girl yeah yeah i get it, it is kind of funny and cool but yubei wow Now, I don't feel regret that I was cussing at Kyubei, man. He is a piece of shit, man. He has his own goal. He knows about all of this, and yet he chooses not to tell these girls about the most important details. Because he's getting something out of all of this, but it's still unclear why. And I just now realized that uh, Homura called him Incubator. Yubei Incubator. Kind of similar, right? So, Incubator. 
Hmm. Very interesting. Speaking of Homura, that whole scene with Kyube getting blasted was absolutely bonkers. And we saw Homura for the first time showing her emotions openly, like all of them, and crying. Like, Madoka is such an incredibly nice person that Homura wants to protect her at all costs, and we got a hint towards Homura's powers that it's time-based powers and that she was likely in a different timeline where something horrible happened thanks to Madoka's actions and perhaps something uh, happened to Madoka herself and Homura is trying desperately to prevent that in this timeline right now, maybe she's back into the past or something, so that was yet another crazy reveal and on top of everything, we also got uh, Kyoko's, I'm sorry, uh, Kyoko's backstory with, with her father. Which is pretty fucking dark as well, man. This shark is, show is dark as hell, man. It's one of the darkest shows that I've watched, man. And this cute art style can, like, trick you so fucking hard. It kind of reminds me of ReZero in that regard, with the amount of cute characters man but then you see how fucking brutal it is and the brutal deaths and all of that but also at the same time the pace is out of this world i'm on the edge of my seat every episode the story is so written so well the animation man the scenes the scenery it's all fucking amazing the vibe the vibes are immaculate right so yeah episodes 9 and 10 let's go Okay guys, everything is ready, let us begin. Oh, they're showing us this scene again. Sorry. No, you were just stubborn. Refusing to get help, the musical notes. Oh, I guess it's reflecting her, her mind, right? The labyrinth. It's only a body, right? It's only a vessel. Her soul. Was that her soul screaming? <laughs> Homura is there. Bro, was that a grenade? Just do as she says. Yeah. Wow. That's a crazy ability, though. She has a power to stop the time, but she can move. And the people touching her, I guess. What did she say? I'm sorry. You want to fight it? So we can't really help her turn back. Damn, bro. Damn. Bro, when Madoka learns about this, oh jeez. Wales, the train station, there she is. And she feels so bad for that conflict that she had with Sayaka, and Sayaka didn't mean those words. Oh my god. Look at Homura, Homura knows that Ma Madoka will feel so bad. Love that she's honest. She's never bullshitting, man. The final secret. Inescapable fate of all who become magical girls. So there is no way to turn her back. She is in denial. She will curse another. Oh god, bro. Kyoko is upset. There is no reason for this right now. 
Yeah, this is this is brutal, man. Especially for the such young girls their age. Damn. Wow, but yeah, we know why Homer is acting like this. As I've been saying a few times already, she probably witnessed hell firsthand in a different timeline. You fucking literal shithead. She does, does know that he ate his fucking corpse. Look at him with his, his cutesy voice yet again. Yeah. He's trying to brainwash her again. Longing the life of the universe. Entropy. Entropy. Zimbabwe, the laws of thermodynamics. Zimbabwe, the laws of thermodynamics. This is like counter entropy, bro. What the fuck up concept? Wow, that is so messed up. So that energy, like bursting with Sayaka, right? Incubator collecting the energy. Now we finally know exactly. Exactly. And why should we care about that? Nah. Humans' emotions and souls are everything to human, man. Fuck you, <laughs> when somebody like Madoka starts shouting at you, you know that you're talking to some fucked up individual or creature. Jesus, you then you really are our enemy. Yep, and the Homura was right all along. Weakness to all the witches, Jesus. Because of her emotions, she's very emotional, right? <laughs> oh, what a piece of shit, bro. Oh my lord. We need to get rid of this bastard Kyubei by the end of the series, I don't care. Yoko, the bastard is there now. She's keeping Sayaka's body fresh. Man, Kyoko is so nice. Is that really true, Kyubei? Your stuff even you don't know. Yeah, that answer wasn't like, no, it's impossible. Oh god, don't do it. Don't give me hope. Rocky, where she's eating. Gosh, I guess now everything is out in the open. I assume Hitomi doesn't know. Now Kyoko is asking her why the fuck are you going to school? 
ちょっと話があるんだ顔貸してくれるあ私も学校お休みするでえそんなまどかさんちょっと OK 記憶コマンストチェットウィッドマドカなんか助けたいと思わない Is it possible? 助けられないとしたしれないけど私はね本当に助けられないのかどうかそれを確かめるまで諦めたくない<笑> I freaking knew that she will turn out to be such a sweet person as well になっちまったけど友達の声ぐらいは覚えてるかもしれない呼びかけたら人間だった声の気をあんただ I don't know it's dangerous man it's so dangerous わかんねえ真っ二つにしてやったらさ中からグリーンフシードの代わりにさやかのソウルジェムがポロッと落ちストーリーってのは。I've encouraged for you for all. <laughs> She's being so positive. This is real Kyoko right now. This is real Kyoko. そういうのに憧れて魔法少女になったんだよね。すっかり忘れてたけど、さやかはそれを思い出させてくれる橋を渡るわけだしね。Oh God. 私も絶対何があっても守ってやるなんて約束はできないし。But we need her voice, right, to reach Sayaka. But I'm sure that Homura is observing them at this very moment and that she will be there if things get messy. <laughs> yeah, this is so cute. Bro, I swear, if they're giving me false hope, I will be pissed. Omura's senses are tingling. She's already out. Oh boy. Omura-chan is not going to be able to help you. He is not going to be able to help you. He is not going to be able to help you. She will be there for you, Madoka. No, no, no. この町にワルプルギスの夜が来る。I was thinking about that right now. ワルプルギス。ワルプルギス。超ド級の大物魔女だ。私もあいつも多分一人じゃ倒せない。いや、that's scary as fuck。だから共同戦線ってここだ。Construction site. They found a place where the Sayaka is. 他の魔女だったりしないかな。魔力のパターンが昨日と一緒だ。Shade of the Genghis. I'm getting kind of used to this, yeah. yeah. And she doesn't have any powers, that's crazy. And she already witnessed so much. Crazy shit. Oh boy. Is it really possible that we can somehow reach Sayaka even though she's a witch? That's something that Homura was saying to her as well. Actually, at the very beginning, you have people that you care about, you enjoy your life, right? Stay away from magical girls where Madoka is already deep into this world and she knows how cruel it is and she, she feels bad. For all her friends. One of her friends, mommy died and Sayaka became rich. It's horrible. What are those? Do we see there Sayaka's memories of them or something? Oh my god, this is so fucking scary. Oh shit! It's like it's conducting, man. I guess this is reflecting her feelings for Kamijo. Oh god, it's so creepy. It's coming to her. She attacking. She is definitely attacking. Sayaka was pretty stubborn always. Oh my god, how many of those wheels? She keeps coming more and more. She's getting overwhelmed. 
pretty fast. Uh, she's way too powerful for us. The violin, Kamejo. Oh my god, Kyoko is getting rocked. Pay big for their fight. Yo. Look at this, man. This show is so fucking phenomenal. Look at how the colors, both of them merged. Jesus. Omura, it's about time to step in. She grabbed Madoka. Oh shit. She cut off her arm. They're gonna drop down. Damn, bro. There is Kamijo. Omura showed up. Oh, what on earth is happening? Is Kyoko doing? She put up a barrier between her and Kumu and Manoka. <laughs> the fuck? What are you doing? What is this? Wait, was that her soul gem? Wait, don't tell me that Kyoko as well. Sakura Kyoko niwa Honto ni Niki Sayaka was square no zomiga atta. Asaka Menakata. This little fucker. Of course not, she, she knew that was impossible. Now he's saying that it's impossible. He was lying. This show is so fucking cruel. And now Homer is so alone to fight this insane thing. <laughs> it's gonna lead to that dream at the very beginning that Madoka, <laughs> that Madoka had, bro. Damn, Kyoko. Holy shit. What the fuck, bro? Oh, fuck this show, bro. <laughs> what a character, bro. I'm playing such a nice character as well. I keep holding your hand. Of course, they had to play like a special ending for this man. It's so bittersweet. <sighs> the first fucking part is that I'm still holding hope. It, to me, it looked like Yoko put up the barrier between Homura and Madoka, right? Obviously she wanted to handle this by herself. So... I mean, her soul gem was cracked. It's not like it was corrupted. And she became a witch as well. Does that mean that Kyoko really died? Like that Kyoko is like 100% done for that there is no chance for her to come back man at first i was thinking when she said that you don't want to be alone i was thinking maybe kyoko will like become rich as well and she put up that barrier so that they will be entrapped there together or something and maybe by the end homura and madoka will somehow turn them back back to normal man that's that's the maybe it's copium or i don't even give a shit man but i hope that there is still a chance, bro. This is way too cruel, man. In this fucking show, if that's really the case and they're not coming back, this fucking show will definitely get rid of Homura in the end as well, man. It's so fucking cruel. Because I think that 
Valpurgitch or whatever, the, the, the crazy witch that cannot be defeated 1v1 by neither Homo or Kyok or anyone else, right? That is about to attack soon. I think that that is that we saw the labyrinth of that witch, the maze, at the very beginning when we saw Madoka's dream, right? When we saw Homura fighting so hard by herself, we saw buildings being tossed around, it was some crazy shit when Kyube said that only Madoka can, like, help uh, Homura win, but Homura at the same time will try to keep Madoka out of it, no matter what, man, so... Damn, guys. Damn. It's really tough to watch to watch this man. So I guess this is that special ending that um, my Patreons told me about it. They also mentioned that there is a opening uh, with interesting lyrics that I should read um, in one of the next episodes as well. So maybe it's in the next. I'm not sure, but yeah, we have one more episode. Let's go. Here we go. Episode number ten. あの、あけみ、ほ、ほむらです。その、えっと、どうかよろしくお願いします。Wait. What? Wait a minute. Miss Akemi has been in the hospital for a while due to a heart condition. Oh my god, is this actually who Homura was? Are we about to get her story from a different timeline? Oh god, it's totally that, right? Look at her. She was so shy. Oh god. I think we are getting the reason why Homura likes Madoka so much. I get called by my first name very much. <laughs> they had a similar conversation. Madoka, she's so enthusiastic and cheerful. You should become cool to match. <laughs> and she's a definitely a different person right now. She's frightened. That's so lame. Of course, and she has a heart condition as well. I didn't know that. I can't do anything right. This is probably the moment where she will encounter Kyubei. Wait, was she corrupted? Oh, that's right, she became prey of some witch, right? Or familiars or something. Yeah, what was happening to Hitomi as well, right? Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Is that a gun? Oh my god, this is the song that they played when they used. It is. What? Oh my god, they're making me emotional with this so much. Oh fuck, I love this song. It's both Bobby and of, of course that Madoka was a magical girl in this timeline. Oh, I love this. This is so good, bro. They're at Mami's place. There. And we know how Homer is right now. This one and well. And Homura definitely feels and acts like Madoka in the timeline that we have been following. Valpurg, I will call it just Valpurg. Is that Valpurg? Oh, 
からだよもうワルプルギスの夜を止められるのは私だけしかいないから無理よ一人だから<笑> then, girl, bro, だ守らなきゃいけないから私ねあなたと友達になれて嬉しかったあなたが魔女に襲われた時間に合って今でもそれが自慢なの魔法少女になって本当によかったダメンブローそう思うホムラちゃん元気でね God, what the fuck even is that place? It looks so big. She died as well. <laughs> what even is that Valper witch man? Wait, 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 wait. Tell me that the reason that we are in different timeline is because of Homura's wish. Did she wish for them to be alive? <laughs> I want to protect her, bro. <laughs> nah, this show is fucking brilliant, man. God, bro, Homura is so nice as well. Oh, Kyubei, you are so fucking bro. At what moment he approached her? There is the shield that she has. It can literally make any wish come true. She's gonna redo the meeting. And this is the probably going to be Homura that we know from first episode. This show is crazy. Wait. Wait. Guys. This is not... She's immediately running to Madoka. Oh, but what if she doesn't know anything about that shit right now? It's a different timeline after all. She was a magical girl. <laughs> she was so working. New and clumsy and trying to, to do what I think they are doing, it's so fucked up. It's probably going to be a bunch of timelines until we reach the, the home of we know. This is her place. So to make a bomb. Wow, so the grenades are all made by her. What the fuck is this? Bro, oh, Madoka has a bow and there. Ah, mommy, I forgot how dope mommy's powers are as well. She stopped the time. Damn, this goes to show how much effort she has put into becoming that powerful. She did it. <laughs> oh God! Wait, this time she's she's gonna become rich this time. This is what Kube was saying. If she becomes rich, it's going to be an incredible one. Turning back time again. And it probably went again and again and again. And she's lived to save despair every single time. Look at her trying to warn them again. This point they were all being alive at the same time. どっちにしろ私このことチーム組みしてほしいんだよね。何度巻き込まれそうになったことか。明美さんには爆弾以外の武器ってないのかしら。
It looks like she is in some Yakuza den or something. She's stealing their weapons. <laughs> Look at her with guns, men, and swords. <laughs> Shotguns, bro. Jeez. Gonna be so depressing. In this timeline as well? Oh god. She stopped the time to protect her. To block all of them, right? Oh wow. They killed... They killed her. What the fuck? Who shot? Mommy shot at Kyoko Soul Gem. Oh, she found the truth. Jesus. No fucking shot. Did Madoka shot at mummies? Bro, what are these timelines, bro? This is crazy. And the transition to, to this again, to arm. Oh my god, both of them. Really mess up this whole awful world. Jesus Christ. Leave nothing at all. She is giving her grips. <laughs> that only you can do. You can go back in time. So it won't end like this. Wow. It was her own wish. Yeah, I knew that Homer was also some shit, man, but this is too much, man. This is far worse than I imagined. Romeo well, said the truth about the future. Is this the Homura that we met at the beginning of the series? Not still, I think. <laughs> the way she's holding dead Kyube. She managed to get his ass before it reached Madoka. I won't rely on anyone anymore. Okay, this is the Homura we know. What a show, man. What a character. Homura is, man. Oh my god. Life machine gun. And that became her mission. Whoa. <laughs> With my own hands. Wow. Yo. <laughs> Too much for her to handle alone. This is the dream! The dream from the beginning. This is the dream from the first episode. She changed. 
ちょっと気持ちが変わった。<laughs> this shitty little shit yet is so evil. So that happens after after Madoka defeats him. She becomes incredible witch that destroys the planet. I'll do it over. I don't feel bad about this now at all. Yeah, because in all the timelines she's either dead or being becoming a witch. The perfect... Yeah, this is the... The first episode. My only friend. Yeah, she was acting tough. And this is when Mami appeared, right? For Sayaka. Forever, bro. It seems like the opening that we saw every episode. But I guess this is the supposed to be the one that I should read lyrics, right? Let me go back. I forget our promise. I close my eyes to make sure I will move forward, shaking off the surging darkness. The promise that Madoka asked of Omura, right? To not let her become magical girl, not to make contact with Kyubei, right? The fact that Omura is doing all of this for her... Oh shit. And can I see the future that I lost in this place once again? I got the shadow of anxiety that falls into me many times. If walking this world, this is literally Homura's words. However, less confession. The door that has been closed. Yo. The beautiful blue sky away always awaits for us. Character because I don't give up. This show is peak, man. This show is incredible. It's only 10 episodes, man, and I can speak about this show a lot. How great the writing is, man. This is fantastic, man. Every Everyone who is like trying to make a story or anime man should take notes from this show bro because for these 10 episodes we learned so much we had such an incredible character developments man and not for the best always man like in sayaka's case look at how far we came with kyoko's character and her sacrifice in last episode man kyoko is such a sweetheart man and the fact that she was praying right she was in the praying position and her father was a priest, man. Literally praying for Sayaka to come back, man. It really hits hard, bro. But the way they started this episode, I immediately knew it. That we were going to see finally why Homura is the way she is and who Homura actually was. And what led to that point. And I was saying throughout the series that Homura probably saw hell. Yeah, she did. But not once. She saw hell many, many, many times. Again and again and again. And she kept seeing Sayaka, Mami, Yoko, Madoka dying again and again and again, man. It's so cruel. No wonder why she felt so cold and emotionless. But despite that, her giving off that vibe, she definitely wasn't. 
and we saw in this episode she was trying to toughen up, right? She's actually very, very like introvert person, right? She's very shy and very emotional, and Madoka is everything to her because how she accepted her when she woke up in the hospital bed and went to school as a transfer student. We saw how Madoka was super nice to her, man. She became quickly her best friend, but at that point Madoka was already a magical girl and she was mommy's partner and we know that mommy longed for a partner that she didn't want to fight alone man so they introduced homura into this world of magical girls and homura was like almost the exact personality of madoka from the first episode right like homura and madoka are actually very similar man so Homura's ideal scenario that she is chasing no matter what and that she is willing to repeat the timeline as many times until forever, right? As she said, is for her to defeat the well, the witch, the overpowered witch, right? Without having Madoka dying or becoming a magical girl. And that seems like it's impossible right now. Okay, I know, I know that what some of you guys will say. Yubi has no emotions. He explained that he is uh, some extraterrestrial terrestrial race from outer space, right? He's an alien, basically, right? And they're trying to fight entropy, right? They need some uh, source that can counter entropy. And they basically found humans and they found emotions to be fuel that sort would be that source right that can help them and that's so fucking cruel that they're using people's souls and emotions like that right to us humans it's cruel right because we have emotions and feelings and souls right so i can get that pov but i still have every right, right to insult that bastard i don't give a shit guys <laughs> i don't give a shit man I don't care, it's so fucked up and cruel, I hate Hubei's guts, incubator, whatever, it's so fucked up how he's manipulating these girls, he's straight up manipulating them and not telling them the full picture, he's keeping some secrets of course, because he wants them to become magical girls, and Homura alone cannot defeat that rich man, and it's crazy because we saw Madoka dying a few times, right? But then she's also capable of literally one-shotting such a horrible witch. So Madoka is indeed insanely powerful, but because of that, she also becomes the most unimaginable, terrifying witch that is capable of wiping out humanity in 10 days, man. She's fucking nuts, bro. I guess those are the powers and the depth of Madoka's emotions, man. And it's going to go, it goes to show us how how incredible she, how incredibly emotional and nice she is, man. So much so that there is no like middle ground with Madoka, man. She's she becomes a very powerful magical girl and she becomes a very powerful witch, man, beyond anyone's imagination. I appreciate that they are showing that they showed us these different timelines in which we see Sayaka being against Homura joining, right? Um, these crazy timelines where Madoka shoots Mami's soul gem because Mami shot at Yoko's soul gem and they literally murdered each other, bro. It's such a messed up world, man. Definitely would traumatize some little girl. Or, or doesn't have to be a girl because it's a girly show, right? But it's not. I mean, let's be real, man. This is not for children. This is not a children's show, man, at all. Man. So, yeah, it's very, very dark, man. As I said, Kyoko's character turned out to be so fucking great. She's such a sweetheart man and I was hoping that she might be like still chilling with Sayaka 
and that they are like sealed or whatever in the barrier that Kyoko made but she definitely I think destroyed her soul gem so I think that Kyoko is gone I guess we are still following this timeline where Homura is trying to prevent Madoka and where Madoka is still not a magical girl but we lost Sayaka we lost Mami right we lost Kyoko so it's only Omura and Madoka left. So I wonder if that was the continuation of the dream that Madoka had. Her defeating the witch and becoming the most powerful witch ever, destroying the humanity. Is that how the dream ends? Or the dream is going to be in the next episodes and we will see something else. Now that they introduced Homura's power, I at least I hope that there might be a chance that she can reset again and maybe like work together with all of them, with Mami, with Sayaka, with Kyoko and Madoka and all of them together to defeat the witch. I don't know, it's just wishful thinking man and honestly I'm just hoping for at least some sort of hope or possible happy ending man because otherwise it would be so fucking dark man to end the series with like only Madoka surviving or some shit man. I don't know but one thing is for sure this show is incredible I am enjoying the heck out of it uh, I will end it here for today thank you for watching guys I hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions I will be seeing you very soon with another video until then take care and have a nice day see ya guys